and I'd never heard of preservation as an undergrad major. I only knew it as a master's program or even higher than that. It's a very broad um, program. It has a lot of different pieces, archaeology, anthropology, architectural history, all of the above, and it seemed like it would give me a really broad base. Preservation is kind of a living thing and that's something about the program that I really like. It's very adaptable, so there's tons of opportunities all around because wherever there's history, wherever there's historic structures, there's people living there too, and there's that interaction, and I really like that. I've had a lot of internships, and they all started because I got one internship. Um, in my sophomore year, I was asked to work for the Preservation Society at City Hall, going through building plans. I've had a standing internship at Preservation Society since then, doing other projects, and through that internship, I got an internship at the city, again, um, on historic lighting, which I'm still doing now, um, so I have two intern three internships going on right now, actually. <laughs> and even if I never use my lighting knowledge about anything, I now have learned how to um, you know, catalog the information. I've developed my own system for going through all of this information and sorting it down to what I need. And I think every student in the CHP program, they can take what they want out of the program and then you know, get internships or apply to jobs that kind of fit what they want to explore and experience. So the, the program is very adaptable because you can really take what you want out of it and then pursue your own interests. Although I am taking a year off, I'm using that time to get more experience. So I really want to be in the museum world, um, probably art museum world. Um, even though I'm an art history minor, I've discovered that I really like art. The good thing about this program, I'm glad I majored in preservation because I have a pretty broad base of knowledge in pretty much every related field. I could pursue anthropology if I wanted or archaeology, um, architectural history, art history, which is what I'm going to pursue. I could pursue history in general. As cliche as it sounds, um, probably what I'll take away from my time at Salve is to be adaptable and to have an open mind. I was always that person that just wanted everything lined up. I wanted to know exactly what was happening like a year down the road after that and life doesn't really happen that way. <laughs> I mean all these internships I never would have foreseen those. They just kind of happened and they happened because I was in the right place at the right time and knew the right people. So being able to take things as they come at you is something that I've really learned how to do and I'll definitely need that when I move forward.